Did you just read that with Joey's voice in your mind? How you doing? Hi guys, how are you doing and welcome to tutorial on how to mount your ski bindings. Don't you just love it when it's the beginning of December and the weather gets a bit chilly and the holiday spirit starts to kick in and most importantly, you have the ski season which is about to start. Alright, so if you recently purchased a new pair of skis, you might want to use some of your old bindings on them or maybe you just got a new pair of bindings for your new pair of skis and you want to mount them yourself. By doing so, you might save some money which you can use for the ski pass. Just a quick FYI, if you're looking to buy any kind of sports equipment, try to buy it when it's off season, you might get some pretty good deals and you can save a lot of money. For example, my pair of skis, I got it for like 270 euros and it was on sale from 600 euros, so about 55% if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and by the way, any brand you'll see in this video is just because I have it and I bought it. it this video is not sponsored by anyone. In fact, I wish it was, but life's hard on YouTube. I'm gonna split this tutorial in two parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on the actual measurement of the ski and where to mark where you're gonna drill the holes. If you don't have any drawing, don't worry, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make your own drawing. And then on the second part, I'm actually going to drill the holes and mount the binding. Mounting your own bindings is a very delicate and gentle procedure and you really want to be careful. So first thing you'll need is skis. Other things you'll need, ski bindings. I have here the Marker Duke Tour binding. Okay, uh, a drill and a drill bit, a screwdriver, a pencil, a cutter, a drill uh, bit for a screwdriver, something to measure, and this I use it so that I can point and mark where I'm gonna drill the holes. If you don't have one of these, just use a nail. A ruler, I like this one because it has this 90 degree edge. Okay, a piece of paper, wristbands, people usually give these for free and I don't know how this is called in English but in Romanian it's called Schubler so for the sake of this video I'm just gonna call it Schubler. Drawings but these are optional, a drill stand which is also optional, normal tape, gaff tape, uh, screws for your bindings and make sure not to lose those. A cloth and a piece of wood so that you can test this out. I already made my tests for this tutorial. Your ski boot and the vacuum cleaner. Okay, so for the first part of the tutorial you're gonna want to clean your ski. So just take a piece of cloth and clean the surface of the ski. You're gonna want to take a piece of tape. Oh my god, this is this is so frustrating. One eternity later. So just imagine a center line and make sure you tape it straight onto the ski. Next thing, you want to look for the recommended mounting point. They usually have it marked on the side of the ski, or if it's not on the side, it's gonna be on the front. Check this out. It says surf machine on this side. Good job, Faction. You just made this pair of skis a lot cooler. In any case, that recommended mounting point is how the ski will perform at its best. If you have other preferences, for example, maybe you want to be a bit more centered, then you can move your binding along the ski. If you don't know what your preference is, just stick to the recommended mounting point. Next thing you want to do 
is take your ruler and just look for that center mounting point draw a line on your piece of tape here so that you know that's the sen the boot center or the recommended mounting point so just take a piece of tape and tape it where the mounting point is just so you know that's where the recommended mounting point is next thing you want to do is take your shoe blad so this tool and you just want to measure the width of the ski and mark just some points along the middle of the ski so that you can draw a line afterwards okay so start by just measuring the width of the ski so I'm gonna start here once you measured and marked several points along the center line of the ski you can go ahead and actually draw the center line using a ruler just simply unite the points you can go ahead and double check just to be sure that your measurement is correct after you marked the center line of the ski then you can put the ski aside and focus on the drawing let's just say you don't have this drawing you only have your ski binding just take a piece of paper and fold it in half after you bend the piece of paper in half just use a cutter or a knife to simply cut it so once you did this just put them over one another and use a piece of tape to tape them together what you want to do is measure this this piece of paper and as you did with the ski, just mark some middle points so that you know exactly where is the center line of this piece of paper. So, as I mentioned, you really need to understand how your bindings work. For example, mine has the touring mode, so the, the heel plate it slides onto the binding, making it loose when it's in touring mode and fixed when it's in ski mode. Next thing you want to do is take a piece of gaff tape. Yeah, so you want to look for the edge that's perfectly cut and you're gonna use that as an indicator of the center of the plate so that you, you can see where the actual center is and then do the same for the other end so just adjust your binding onto the center line so that you know it's centered okay now before you do this just make sure that the binding is adjusted to your ski boot okay you're gonna want to look for the boot measurement mine is 317 millimeters and as you can see it's a perfect fit there's a mark right here where the ski boot center is. Okay, just straighten your paper, take your ruler. Once you know that is a perfect fit and you have it centered on the drawing, you just have to mark the holes. So just use your nail or your pencil and simply just mark those out. Okay, now get your ski and your drawing, self-made or the original drawing. What you want to do is cut a little triangle on both sides so that you know exactly where your center is, okay? And just place that on top. Once you're sure that it is centered, go ahead and just tape it on there. Now that you have your ski all set up for drilling, just drill the holes. But be careful, you want to measure and that's why I recommended doing a test so that you can actually see if your drill bit is too big or too small. When choosing the drill bit, you can use the Schubler to measure the screw and see exactly how thick you want the drill to be because it has to have grip so you want to make sure that the screw has grip and it's a perfect hole you don't want it to be big because if it's too big then it's gonna be loose and you don't want it to be small because if it's too small then the actual screw will kind of rip apart the hole so you don't want that I took the time and I chose a drill bit for this okay so just take your drill stand if you have one if not just make sure 
that you do not drill the, the ski all the way to the other side because if you do it's a ruined ski and you're gonna need to buy a new pair yeah sorry just be careful double check your measurement triple check if it if you need to but there's no going back from this okay so just be really careful now when you're drilling your holes you want to make sure that you're drilling perpendicular to the ski so that's at a 90 degrees angle now for this part you're also going to use your vacuum cleaner take your wood glue and you can use a nail or something thin so that you put some glue into the holes doesn't have to be a lot once you've done this just place your back plate or your binding on top take one of your screws and just screw it in there it is guys I hope you liked this video I hope you got something from it and if you did hit the like button if you didn't just leave a comment in the section below and I will get back to you also subscribe to this channel because there's more content coming up your way. See you in the next one. Okay. Now we have it. Once you know where the center will be, just take a piece of tape. Oh. God, this is frustrating. Welcome to the most frustrating video on the internet. Where I cannot even pull a piece of tape. I'm, I swear I'm not doing this on purpose.